we can start this question by rewriting this as x multiplied by cos x squared x. So 1 over sine squared x is cos x squared x, hence why we can write it like this. And then we can use the late rule. So logs, algebra, trig, exponentials. So what we have here, we have algebra and trig. Algebra comes before trig in the word late, so we would set our x to be u and our cos x squared x to be v dash. So u is x, v dash is cos x squared x. x differentiates to make 1, and cos x squared x, the integral of that, that would be minus cot x. That's given to you in the formula booklet. We can then put this into our equation, so it becomes u times v, which would be minus x cot x, minus the integral of v u dash. So 1 times minus cot x, which is just minus cot x. The minus minus becomes plus. And the integral of cot x would be ln of sine x. That's given to you in the formula booklet as well. But if you weren't sure, cot x is the same thing as cos x over sine x. So one way that we can show that the integral of cot x is ln sine x, this here is of the form of f dash x over f of x. And whenever we are integrating something of that form, the solution would be of the form of ln of f of x, which in this case would be ln of sine x. If you were to differentiate ln of sine x, that would give you exactly this.